Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Curvifer's Flash Travaganza at Anime Kanji! In beautiful San Diego, California. Not been here since 2009. I'm very happy to be back because your city is just lovely. Um, so before I introduce myself, I'm gonna introduce the person that you probably already know, uh, my lovely and talented uh, assistant, straight from the Playboy Mansion, Mr. Benjamin Diskin. <laughs> Ben, Ben, tell them about all the things that you do, even though, they, again, they probably already know who you are. I've done nothing important except for one thing, and that is playing a disgustingly foul-mouthed character on this man's <laughs> And this is going to be a great episode. Yeah! So, uh, I guess because I've met a few people who are like, th this weekend, who are like, uh, I think I sort of know who you are! Are you Matt Mercer? No, I'm not, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'll just give the brief history. So, my name is Chris Neosi. Uh, some of you guys might know me better by my screen name, Kerbifer. Uh, it's like Christopher, except Kirby. <laughs> um, so, uh, back in the day, uh, I did a bunch of animated, uh, Flash cartoons on, uh, places like Newgrounds.com. Uh, particularly I was known for stuff like the, uh, Super Freaking Parody Rangers series, which was a Power Rangers spoof that I did for a long time. Uh, the, these three video game collab things with a bunch of other animated friends of mine, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo to the 64th power. <laughs> I also do these really not funny Super Smash Bros. cartoons called Brawl Taunts, but we don't talk about those. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, I also did, if, uh, uh, if any of you guys are fans of Super Mario RPG, uh, my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time, I did a music video to that song, uh, that was made quite a splash on YouTube. Um, since then, uh, stuff I'm known for nowadays. Oh, oh also, uh, any of you guys like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series, by any chance? Cool. Um, I, I had the oh, little Karibo, Martin, is uh, one of my best friends, and uh, he was very gracious enough to allow me to play the abridged version of Noah Kaiba, the creepy little green-haired kid from the cancel dog. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. I also animated uh, the uh, Lady Gaga parody uh, Leather Pants for, for Martin, which was... I can't believe how long ago that was by now, which is crazy, but several million views on YouTube. Still not there. Uh, anyway, so nowadays, uh, I'm known for, I do a uh, animated series called Tome, Terrain of Magical Expertise. Thank you, uh, that makes me so happy. Thank you, guys. Um, we've been going, we've now had th uh, 13 episodes. Uh, you are about to see a brand new one, which is episode zero, uh, the, also known as the tragic origin story episode. Because <laughs> every anime needs one of those. Um, I've, been, I've been doing that for a long time. Those of you who haven't seen Tome, uh, don't worry, because as this is episode zero, it's a great place to start, uh, as it takes place before the beginning of the show. And those of you who haven't seen it before, basically it's a show uh, about a group of good friends who get caught up in a strange conspiracy involving hackers and a uh, bizarre virus on this uh, massively multiplayer uh, online game uh, called Tome. It's very much inspired by the likes of Dot .hack, Mega Man Battle Network, Reboot, stuff like that. Not and Sword Art! And Sword Art, you, you stole it from Sword Art! Totally! I've, I've never seen a single episode you of really Sword Art Online. I've never seen it. Ever in my life. Woo! Th yeah, that's, that's kind of the consensus I've been getting, is woo! Um, anyway, oh, b uh, by the way, I, I have a disgusting mouth. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to keep it under wraps. If I let a curse word slip, I apologize. Are there curse words in this show, in this episode? Uh, no, there are not. Okay. Not, not in this one. Okay, good. Um, what was it? Oh, I also, uh, I've done some voiceover stuff. Uh, I, I, there's some cool things I've done this year that are coming out soon, but I can't talk about them yet. What else is new? Uh, I got my first voiceover gig on a really obscure show. I don't know if you guys, it's called Pokemon. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Uh, back, wow. back in the Diamond and Pearl arc. What, shut up, you're a Digimon. Don't you give me that. You're multiple Digimon. No, That's right. Shoutmon. Yeah. And Cutemon. Yeah. <laughs> I, every time he does that, it freaks me out. And, he thinks it's hot. And gets me a little hard, I won't, I won't lie. Um, I, I, play, I played a character on uh, Di the Diamond and Pearl season in Cory. He was like, a, he was the stand-in for that guy who he's cosplaying as gold from Pokemon Gold and Silver. He was, uh, he joined with Ash and company for about five episodes. He had a total dial, he had like green kind of fro sort of hair and glasses. And he was like, it's Cory, of course. My total dial is great. Not that I, whatever. I had him for five episodes, and since then, I've done some other stuff. I was in uh, Bakuman, which was canceled. I played Yujiro in that. I was in the Berserk movies as random soldiers being killed. I was in, uh, yeah, great role. Uh, I was in Patema Inverted as uh, Lagos. Wonderful movie. Please go check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I've also done a bunch of, like, PC games. I was in Resonance, Primordia, Dust and Elysian Tale, uh, uh, Galactic Fantasy Prelude, Jisei Kansei Yosei, a lot of stuff like that. 
Uh, I direct indie games sometimes, such as Cryomore, A Hat in Time, Soul Saga, Black Hole, and I'm working on one right now called Combat Core. Those are a bunch of things that I do. So now that you have hopefully somewhat of an idea, so there's going to be like a couple people out there being like, who, who the hell is this guy? I'm, I'm just here for Diskin. Um, so we have an hour. And now that I've wasted about uh, 30 years of it, um, <laughs> so we're going to wait to show the new episode at the end of the panel because I'm going to make be, you wait. Yeah, well, but to make you wait, and also I'm going to be a jerk because we're going to I'm going to not give you an opportunity to then ask me spoiler questions about things relating to Tome. So I'm sorry, not really. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we have all this time. So please, if you guys have any questions, and we're also recording this right now. We're going to have this be a, a curb log. Uh, vlog video thing for my, my YouTube channel. Um, so if you guys have questions, raise your hand. We will uh, call on you and then stuff. I saw Mr. Greenshirt raise his hand first. Hi. What's your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Sword Art, weren't you listening? Totally, yeah, that's, that's the one. Um, Oh, actually, we're going to have them line up in the middle. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Right. Every, okay, so those of you who have a question, please line up in the middle and come up to the microphone. My lovely other assistant over here is going to be taking your questions, but I will answer yours in the meantime. Uh, my inspiration for Tome came from when my best friend, Mike Lucas, a very talented artist, uh, moved away. I was, this is when I was living in New York at the time, and we were keeping in touch on a little forum called TV Tome, which is no longer active. It was changed to like TV.com or something, but we met all of our first internet friends on there, and uh, there were some weird people. And Mike and I were both artists, and we decided to make a bunch of characters uh, based on people's screen names. So I was like, what would Flame Girl or Game Crazed or Nylock look like as characters? And so and at the same time, we were also, again, really big into like Dot .hack and Battle Network and all this stuff, like a lot of like the virtual world kind of motif sort of stories and that sort of thing. So uh, we were like, oh, why don't we make a little like story out of this? And then just one thing led to another. I learned Flash. I started making cartoons. I made the original old version of Tome, which was TV Tome Adventures. Please never watch that. It's old and terrible. Um, and, uh, and then I sort of reformatted it into the show that maybe you guys know now. Um, so I, I guess the, the inspiration, really enough, are just like the friends and the people that I meet. Uh, a lot of the characters are very kind of loose or like overly exaggerated versions of, of the characters. I mean, you know, Kerberfer is like an overly exaggerated version of me. <laughs> you know, I mean, well. Not by much. Not, not by much. No. Um, I, I rode with him on the way here. I drove. Oh, yeah, no, he, he had. He drove me crazy. I, I, I drove. He, he drove while I drove him crazy and, and making him listen to. Uh, Everybody. Supersonic racing. <laughs> Try to keep your feet right on the ground. We, we almost died because he was like about to crash me into the side of the death. That was a sentence. Uh, also, we talked about Dragon Ball for. Or I talked to him about Dragon Ball for about three hours. It, was, it, it made the time pass. Because you know, because you know, Kerberfer it talk, totally talks about DBZ all the time. Talk well, then again, Zeto, who is this sort of like secret identity thing. I mean, he's spoilers. He, he for those haven't seen the show. Oh no. Well, whatever. I mean, it's gonna reveal it in this oh, anyway. Okay, so, fine. but um, yeah. I mean, Zeto uh, is is all DBZ inspired. So I mean, sure. Yeah, it's my friends, the shows that I watch, the things that I love, the people that I love. Are they? I, I know that sounds like kind of a cheesy. Answer, but I really mean that. They they really are like the big, the biggest source of inspiration for me. So, all right. Hello. What's your name and who are you dressed as? Uh, I'm Alicia from uh, Tommy Gummy Soviet. It's a Tommy game. It okay. translates to uh, it translates to Mysterious Scott. Um, my question is, uh, how would I get into voice acting? For it's for both of you. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do you want to do you want to start with this? Wait, how how to get into How voice. do you get into voice acting? You get into voice acting through magic. Yes. <laughs> um everybody who does this who's like really big usually they didn't start off looking uh to get into voice acting. They wanted to do something else and just sort of stumbled into it. Um You didn't stumble into it. You were born in it. <laughs> he actually was. <laughs> oh, for me, well yeah, okay. But uh but for the, the right now, I would say Starting off small, starting off in places like voiceactingalliance.com, doing like small freebie stuff and seeing if you like it, seeing if people want to hire you. And from there, maybe move on to something a little bit more income related, you know, like, uh, like, like voices.com, voices stuff like that. Make a living if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Lot, kind of lots of workshops and classes will take you a long way. Yeah. Uh, anytime I ever get asked this question, I, my, my usual go to answer is, uh, is make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. And that's not just to you, it's to anybody who's interested. Is you got to make sure that, um, you know, because the people who are the best at this are also like, they're passionate actors. 
You know, so a lot of times I meet people who are like, I went to a convention and I saw boop, talking on a panel about how great it is, and now I want to do it so I can go to conventions and be an anime and be popular. It's not what it's about. Uh, being a voice actor is just like being any kind of actor. It's because, first and foremost, you love performing. And you have to, because being an actor basically means you're unemployed all the time. But yeah, more or less. You're, yeah. you're, you're a glorified hobo. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a life that, that actors wish upon anybody else. If there's anything, Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash, uh, the original voice of Ash for eight years, often says, if you can do anything else that you're good at, do that instead of being an actor, because like, it will, you'll be able to live. <laughs> um, but if, uh, but if, if performing is what you care about more than anything else, then go for it. You, you gotta be all in or go home. You gotta like really study the crap out of it, like just really be dedicated to your craft. That's the most general answer I can give on all of that. So, it's a loaded question. Yeah! Hello, sir. What is your name? Even though I know it. My name is Luke. Hi, Luke. Uh, What's your question? It's about a story. Okay. Contrary to the opinions of many people, I actually don't Oh, oh, well, thank you. Yay! <laughs> There's well, one. I don't like them too much, but, um, but I was curious, like, what's the storyline explanation for how the characters um, got there? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, so so uh, for those of you who haven't seen Tone before, uh, so we're in the middle of the second season now. We, the last three episodes or so have been uh, part of season two. And uh, when we decided to have a little bit of a cutoff point, I was like, you know what, I'm going to update the designs for no other reason than, you know, when there are little time skips in anime series, characters come back and suddenly they have new outfits. So there really is no story explanation as to why they have new outfits. I just wanted to give them new designs because I thought it would be interesting. You were wrong. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I know that is totally disappointing. I mean, I guess if, there were, if I had to give like an in-universe kind of thing, I'd say, like, oh, you know, you can make adjustments to your, you know, because like in, in, you know, online games, you can make adjustments to your character model and stuff. I imagine, like, oh, you know, let's just like give, a little, give ourselves some little updates or whatever, you know, just something like that. Uh, nothing like that, you know, meaningful or whatever necessarily, but uh, and for me it was just, oh, I want to like, you know, kind of change the designs a little bit, maybe do something new and interesting, give myself some new challenges, or maybe make something a little easier to draw, whatever, you know, that sort of thing. Um, did that answer your question? I hope. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes, Gold. What is your name? Hello. Gold. What is your actual name? Good. Gordon? Jordan. Oh, Jor Jordan. Go go golden. <laughs> I'll split the difference. What? What? Uh, no. <laughs> L later. But do you have an actual question? Okay, oh, we're just getting challenged to a Pokemon battle. This isn't. Oh, I guess that is the question. Oh God. Oh yeah. But there's a there's a nerf. To those of you listening to this on YouTube later, there's a nerf arena at this convention, and we need to do that because Ben needs to shoot me with his with his foam. <laughs> Can you please phrase that in a different way? No, no, no. You have to shoot me in the face with your phone. Okay. In the, in the Nerf arena. I mean, you know. All right, well, we'll close it down. Just you and me. Yeah. And I'll shoot yeah. my phone all over your face. Mm, okay. Delicious. All right. Get out of my sight. Thank you. Hello, sir. What is your name? Uh, hey, I'm Theo, and uh, you're talking about the Big Bang. Thank you. Massive Thank you. I love you. Sorry, what? Uh, interesting question. Um, so I, I guess I'll kind of talk about the main cast in particular. So uh, we have five main characters in our crew. Again, for the, I'm trying to speak generally for people who haven't necessarily seen the show before. Um, so uh, we have uh, a cast involving uh, Shady Fox, Blake Swift, who you guys might know from uh, Scratch 21 or Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Bridge and otherwise. Uh, Little Karibo plays the fan favorite character, Nylock, master of being at anime kanji, but he's not really because he's off at some other convention I think this weekend. Mm. And uh, myself, and uh, Casey Mangelo, uh, who she was in Zet Man and Time of Eve and uh, Queen's Blade. <laughs> uh, Queen's Blade. And uh, Anna Kingsley, who was in Dustin Lizzie and Tail. Um, so I guess with each of the characters, it was kind of an interesting process. A lot of the side characters and special guests, I kind of knew who I wanted, so I would scout them out. Uh, the main characters, I kind of went through a few different ideas in my head. Blake Swift, Shady, was actually somebody I considered for Nylock uh, at one point, uh, as well as Casey, who they went on to be um, Alpha and, G and Game Crazed, respectively. 
And um, Martin, Little Karibo, I thought of for a totally different character in the beginning. And it was mainly because I didn't want to be like, featuring Little Karibo, well, watch my show that you won't care about otherwise. But I, I ended up being like, no, he's perfect for Nylock. So I was like, forget it, whatever, I'm just going to give him a part. And I did, and it, was, it worked out beautifully, because I can't imagine anybody else playing Nylock at this point. Um, and uh, I remember, I think, also uh, Micah Solusad, who you guys will know as uh, Soul on Soul Eater and many other things. Uh, he was somebody I considered for Alpha as well, uh, and then I ended up having him play Archie, one of the side characters. Uh, Shady, I ended up giving him that part uh, as Alpha, the main character, because he was also part of the crew. He ended up being able to sing the theme song. He became our sound effects designer for the show. So he's like part of the crew, basically. And uh, with Flame Girl, uh, our leading lady, uh, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted vocally for her, so we, I, that was one of the only characters that I had an audition for. And uh, it was actually a close toss-up between Kira Buckland, uh, also known as Rena Chan, uh, Jesse Nowak, also known as Nowacking, she does a lot of uh, My Little Pony stuff back in the day, and Anna Kingsley, and it was uh, Kira, I didn't want to give Flame Girl to because she had been like, I'm the lead girl in like everything already, and I wanted to give her something a little different, so I gave her Forever, one of the uh, tournament announcers who was uh, hyped up on caffeine all the time and perfectly suited for her, <laughs> and uh, it was a really close toss-up between Jesse and Anna, and Anna beat her out by just like, I think like a, a vote or two by a bunch of people that I trusted for opinions on. And uh, so Anna got Flame Girl, and she's done a great job, and, and it's really been like an interesting learning experience for her, because she was very new when we started, and uh, she's really grown as an actress over the course of the last three years we've been doing the show now. And uh, Jesse Nowak ended up later playing uh, Hyperlinks in uh, one of my favorite episodes, um, the big Nylock one with uh, Hyperlinks and Elliscope and all that. And, uh, and she's hilarious. Jesse cracks my, my cool. SH word up. Um, so yeah, uh, so it, it's, it depends on character to character. Hopefully that somewhat answered your question. <laughs> Batman, what's your name? Hi, Crystal. Oh, yes, Crystal with a K. Yes. Not like a certain other character. What is your question? <laughs> uh, like it, 10 minutes, right? You oh, yeah, minutes. yeah. So, I mean, we, we finished this one in about five, I mean. Yeah, yeah. like while, while we were in the other room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this morning I finished this episode. Animation's easy. Oh, it's super, yeah, totally yeah. easy. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Um, depending on how long the project is, it can take anywhere from a weekend to th uh, three months. I burped, sorry, sorry excuse me. Um, I'm very uh, classy on, on this convention. Um, for Tome episodes, it can take anywhere from like yeah, two to three months, depending. Um, animation specifically, and also like there's pre production and post production, you know, depending on how work intensive the episode is, how long the episode is, because I'm not, <laughs> I don't limit myself to 22 minutes or 15 minutes or, or 10 minutes, whatever. They just kind of end up being as long as they are. Episode zero, which we're gonna show later, is, uh, is 20 minutes. Um, you know, so like that. But that one also took a while because, as you'll see, there was some very interesting kind of extra elements to it that took some, a little bit more time, which is why it's been so long since the last episode aired. Um, but uh, yeah, for a, a full-length episode like this, it can take a long time. But something like, I don't know, Brawl Taunts, I did in like three days. You know, um, the Nintendo Collabs can take a very long time because it's coordinating a lot of people. Uh, Parody Rangers, I think only, those only took me like a little while, maybe like a month or two or so. So it just depends on like how detailed we're going and how much there is and how many people are involved. There's a whole lot of factors that go into it. But, uh, but I, I really plan things out as best as I possibly can to make sure that things get done on a timely basis. Because I, I don't like when I get like, when's the next thing coming out? And I'm like, I want to be able to answer them every time and say, it's coming out on this day. Like, I, that, that was great about this is I could say, April 4th, we're premiering at the con. And then April 9th, it's going on YouTube. Yes, that's what we're doing. I, the fact that I can have an answer to those questions now Instead of, when's the next Parody Rangers? When's the next Nintendo Collab? When's the next Brawl Taunts? When's the next butt? It's ne never, there's, there's no next butt ever. That's not a thing that I did. Um, did that answer your question? Was that long-winded enough for you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Are you giving them prizes when they answer your question? Oh, neat. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Is that a superhero? Oh, no, the question. I'm the question. Hello. What is your name, sir? Evan. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, Evan. Huh? Bizarro Martin, Bizarro Martin Star? Uh, no. Should it mean something to me? Oh, I'm scared. Did you have an actual question? Yes, I did. Okay.
Yeah. Um, actually, this is interesting because if any of you guys are also free, I'm going to answer this question, but if you guys are free after this, I'm going to be doing the Ogiku panel uh, about literally this entire subject for like an hour. Um, but uh, to give you the short answer, so the question was he was asking about uh, monetization and being able to make money off of doing the type of stuff that I do, uh, which is content creation for YouTube and things like that. Um, I'm partnered with uh, a lovely little company uh, that brought you such things as Adventure Time and Fairly Odd Parents called uh, Frederator. And, uh, and also they do like being Poppy Cat and uh, Bravest Warriors, all that stuff on uh, Cartoon, uh, Cartoon Hangover. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm partnered with them on YouTube and what they do is when I submit a video, whether it's a curb log or a tome episode or a random thing, I feel like we filmed that fire eating guy. I'm going to upload that uh, when we were at the harbor yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Um, what they do <laughs> is they make the process of getting ad support uh, easier. So basically, if you have a video that is over 10 minutes long on YouTube, uh, you can get a, uh, a, a video ad before and after the video is done. And the clicks on those ads uh, allow me to make a little bit of money. And also the amount of time that you watch something, uh, which is this is the reason why Let's Players are making bank right now, and it infuriates me. Um, <laughs> not whatever, I don't really care that much. But um, the amount of uh, time viewed is also what factors into how much money a video can make on something like that. Uh, so a tome episode can make a decent amount because you know they're like full-length TV show t style episodes. Uh, and a curb log will sometimes be anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes. They tend to be like 20 minutes these days, especially when I have folks like Mr. Ben over here. In fact, actually, uh, a curb log is coming out, I think, in like 20 minutes on my YouTube channel where we had our predictions about the uh, the new DBZ movie that we're going to go see at the Hollywood Egyptian Theater next weekend and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm getting way off track. So it requires careful planning. It requires sort of playing the YouTube game, I guess you could say. Uh, you kind of have to follow a certain number of rules, and sometimes you have to pander a little bit. I don't like doing that because it's dumb and lame, and I hate pandering because F that. Um, but, uh, but for the most part, if you work really hard on content like you're actually enthusiastic about, and you're not just like, what's going to make me money or whatever, then I feel like you'll find more success that way to begin with. Uh, because people aren't going to read it as like, oh, I'm just, you know, trying to make a quick buck or whatever. No, I'm making something that I'm actually passionate about, you know what I mean? Does that answer your question at all? At all? Even remotely? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't have like an LLC. Uh, I'm just independent. I, I make whatever money I can. I mean, I also do freelance in between. I do animation jobs for different things. Uh, I'll do voiceover once in a while, which pays better than other things. Um, you know, so that, and I'm lucky to be able to do that in between doing the stuff that I actually am passionate about. I'm passionate about voice acting too, but you know, I'm getting all over the place. Okay, hi, are you Levi, Le Levy, Matt Mercer? Yes. Yeah. Hi, what's I'm Matt. What, what's your, I'm Matt. Somebody thought I was Matt Mercer today. Are, are they in here? It was hilarious. They're like, are you the voice of Crom? And I'm like, <laughs> I wish. I, 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 yeah, well, he's at probably at a con right now. He's probably at a con every goddamn weekend. He was just announced as Prince Diamond on Sailor Moon. Lucky bastard. Uh, hi, what, what's your name? <laughs> Christina, hi. hi. I, I'm, I'm friends with another Christina of, Valens of, of Valenzuela variety. She's also in tone. What's your question? Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, well, mainly Ben. That's fine. All right. Okay. What's up? Can I say what? That I'm a sparkly unicorn. In your cute, in his cute mom voice? Oh. <clears throat> we did karaoke for like three hours last night. We're we're still healing. I believe in you. I am a sparkly unicorn. Yay! That you are. That, that you are. Yay. <laughs> This is, this, is why, this is why Ben is a world-class actor. Oh my God, it's derpy hooves. Oh God, somebody call the Tumblr police. Can you do the eyes? Oh God, don't make her do the eyes. Oh. Don't, don't, oh, don't, 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 su don't subjugate her, you heathen. <laughs> Hi, what, <laughs> what's your name and what's your question? I do recognize you. You were, you were Applejack yesterday and you're derpy hooves today. I know. What's your, well, he, that's because he's a scrub. Uh, what's your, a Deku scrub. Uh, he's a he's a Deku scrub. Yeah. Ah, I'm, like just, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> what's what's your question? 
Ooh, I'm actually curious about yours. Favorite style of animation? Yeah, I, I guess maybe like like out of the normal style of like 2D animation, I guess. I don't know, or just in general. I don't know. What what is yours? I I do I do like me good good old school 2D traditional animation. I'm not a stickler for like it has to be Disney level like. This is like a hundred drawings. What I'm doing right now, it's, I don't. I'm not that much of a stickler for. I, I mean, that stuff is beautiful, but mainly it's about storytelling, and I feel like a lot of the best stories have been told with that medium. I like stuff that looks like moving sketches. That's just like really, really rough. I just find that really cool. E. Yeah. I also I, I, stop motion. I think is very underappreciated. It's cool. If yeah. It's done right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, well, like uh, I mean, they're they're the, the kings and queens of that stuff. If you guys have seen like Paranorman. And yeah. uh, Coraline, you know that stuff. They're they're, they're the best. Box and, trolls. Bo- oh, yeah, but Box Trolls was all right. I was mainly happy for because because Box Trolls gave actual voice actors star power in a, in a feature film for yes, once. Because Steve Bloom and uh, D Baker, I yes. think your your fellow codename kids next door. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, Steve Bloom, my fellow codename kids. No, it's D Baker. I know. You stupid. I no, wasn't it? Uh, Steve. St- I mean st- a jerk. Sorry. Sorry. So, uh, what? My no, I, 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 bo- both of the same. Yes. Okay. That answer question? Yes. Good. Yeah. Excellent. We're do, we're good at this. We're good at paneling. Mm. Yeah. Hi. What is your name? Sophia. Where are you dressed as, Sophia? I'm dressed as my own version of Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh. Five oh, Nights at Freddy's. Have you heard that song? That that Living Tombstone song? Yes. Living. It- oh, excellent. Living Tombstone actually did the music for the episode we're about to show in a little while, and he and. and I gotta say, just sorry, before I, I, I get your question, uh, Yoav Landau, Living Tombstone, is one of the most talented musicians ever I've like ever had the privilege of working with, and my god, this is some of his best work. If you guys like his like brony dub stuff, stuff, you're gonna love this stuff. It's like insane. So, sorry, what was your question? Um, this is so simple, yeah, I was okay. just really curious. Um, how do you know when you nailed the role for a character? When you book it. <laughs> <laughs> Because then it doesn't matter. You've got the job, and you can do whatever you well, not whatever you want. You have to do what the director tells you. But, well, the, or do you have a real answer? Oh, how do you know when you've really nailed the character? Yeah. When you can leap into the character's mind at any time, that's when you know. Yeah. When you're just like, like, what would this guy say? Oh, I know what he'd say. Yeah. That's when you've nailed the character. When it's really part of who you are. Yeah. Because, uh, like, I mean, you know, when you when you book a voiceover job, your job is to do your job. Your job is to just do what is necessary for the product, you know, and make it the best it can be so that people like y'all can enjoy it and like it and not be like, the character's voice sucked, he's a bad actor, I'm gonna write this really harsh review on anime on DVD about it, how they shouldn't be working anymore, people do that. Um, but no, I mean like, cause that's the thing, like uh, Jaleel, Jaleel White, who is the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog for many years, uh, said this, uh, acting is not an ego thing, it shouldn't be an ego thing, it's about what you want. We're tra- what we're trying to do is, is present what you want as viewers because this isn't about us. It's about what you guys are consuming in the show or the game or the movie or whatever it is. That we're, you know, even a commercial, whatever, you know, for voiceover. And, uh, and so, I mean, like, when I, whenever I get to do something, I'm always thinking, like, you know, oh, I want this to be good so people will really genuinely enjoy this and, like, get into the character and, like, be enthusiastic and excited about it and be professional and do the best I can on it and junk. Do you I agree? Yes. Good. I agree with all things Kerba first has. Thank you. Th- thank you. Thank you, Drone Diskin. Yeah. Beep boop. Beep boop. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's the Fennec. Oh, it's a Fennekin! What is your name, sir? Hashtag. My name is Gustavo. Hi. What's your question? I know we don't talk about Brawl Haunts. We don't. So, what is your question? Uh-oh. How did you go about making Brawl Haunts? Once upon a time, my friend Kira Buckland was obsessed with Super Smash Brothers. She wrote this cartoon. She is one of my best friends, and I would tell her this to her face. That wasn't very funny, um, but she was going to do it as a machinima. And then I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, buy me a DVD. She had just gotten her first uh, anime role on a show called uh, Ika R16 Virgin Mission. Look that one up. Don't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she bought me a DVD of it uh, as my payment, and I did it as a commission, basically, for... Uh, I animated it literally in about three days. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then we posted it on Newgrounds, and then I woke up the next morning, and it had, like, thousands and hundreds of thousands of views, and eventually millions of views. And I'm like, what is going on? 
excuse me, what have I done? Uh, and then she was like, we're doing a sequel. And I'm like, ah. Uh. And then I did the sequel. And then she's like, we're doing another one. I'm like, no, no, I refuse. So a bunch of other people collab together to make the third one, and I just animated an intro where I scream really loud and jump out a window and die. There is a, there is a alternate universe version of Kerbifer who is dead and at like a pile of skeleton bones on the ground outside of the, the place while Rena Chan cartoon character is like up in my room that she hussed out for herself and like is just making Smash Brothers jokes. And I die a little inside each time. Um, that's how. Did that answer your question? I will resent you for the rest of my life. <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> Thank you. Capsule Corporation. Hello, what's your name, sir? Alfonso. Alfonso, what is your... Oh, 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 wait. Which, oh, oh, did you win one of the badges? This gentleman won uh, one of the two free badges that I gave out as part of the contest. So, yeah. congrats to him. <laughs> Excellent. Hashtag Tome Kanji. What is your question, my good sir? Um, how did you get people like Ben Diskin or how to be in your show? Hey, Ben Diskin, do you want a voice in my stupid internet cartoon? Oh my god, you are Kerboffer. I have watched all of, of uh, battle stuff that you make on internets. Yes. Yes, I, through Facebook. Uh, you, you know, honestly, that is, that's pretty much how. It's... No, no, seriously, okay, no, okay, so for those of you who, again, who haven't seen the show, and, and actually, in this episode, you're gonna be hearing the likes of Kylie Bear, Todd Habercorn, Yuri Lowenthal, Michelle Knotts, John St. John, uh, and, and me. Uh, <laughs> um, honestly, you know, I've, I've, I've been very privileged to work with a lot of really, really talented, uh, veteran voice actors, uh, internet celebrities, people like John Tron, you know, guys like, guys like that. It has been as simple as maintaining a professional attitude and just shooting them a message or asking them, being like, hey, I'm doing this indie animated thing, you know, it's not worth a lot of money, would you be up for doing it? And nine times out of ten, I'm like, that sounds fun, yeah, I'm down for that, like, every time, you know? Um, and well, with Ben, like, it was a matter of, like, we, we kind of ghostily became fans of each other's work, I guess, in a way. And, uh, and then we became friends, and then I was like, oh, I want to save a character for you. And then I ended up saving him Oddball. Yes, the, the worst <laughs> character in the entire show. What a good friend you are, Kurt. That's me. He's going to be uh, very prominently featured in episode 14, which will be the next new episode after this one. Um, which that's not a spoiler, because if you guys are kept up with the show, uh, Oddball appeared at the end of episode 13. So obviously he's going to be the security for the uh, hacker headquarters. Um, we recorded that like I think a whole year ago by right so. now. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. We, that, that's the other thing too is um, uh, so like for instance uh, Kyle Abair who plays the webmaster uh, for season two I made sure to have all the scripts done ahead of time and I would record uh, all six of those episodes with him in, in like one session. So we did and, and we took like an hour or so I think and uh, so we get everything all done and set to go and everything and then. Um, you know, and then we just do it, and he'd be down with it. And yeah, I've I've just I've I've just been lucky enough that they hear me out. Uh, I just actually worked out another special guest who I can't talk about yet, but uh, one that I'm very very excited to have on board the show, um, very personally significant. And uh, but yeah, they're all just like open to doing stuff like this sometimes. You know, I think you just it's just right place, right time, right attitude. You know, that sort of thing. So that answer your question. Yep. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, this is going to be a curb walk, so, you know. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're Excellent. all on a curb walk. Yeah. Yay. Uh, real, real quick, before I get to you, huh, I just want to check, how are we on time? Oh, we, we got about five minutes. Do we? Okay. Uh, minutes, so. All right, so this might be the last one. I apologize, guys. But I'll be doing more questions in the next panel. So, hi. What's your name? Um, Bree. Hi, Bree. What, uh, who are you dressed as? Uh, oh. Wub wub. Mother effa. <laughs> Let, let's, we'll, maybe we can try to do a lightning round. All right, what's your question? What will you do with Titans for real? Um, you know, I'd just become a titan, flat out. If titans were real. If titans were real, oh, I get eaten. Yeah. Real fast. For, first day. Yeah. What's your What's your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin, what's your question? Yes. A, a bit, a bit of both. I at one point I thought I'm gonna get one episode of Tome done every month. Ha! <laughs> uh, that was insane. I was a young and stupid child. Um, yeah, it was definitely done in a way to, as you guys will see when you check out some of the animation, if you haven't seen the show before, uh, it's done in a way to make things a little streamlined so that I can, you know, get episodes done 
on a timely basis because I get one done every like season or so. Um, so uh, so yeah, but it's it's proven to also be kind of a cool sort of aesthetic thing because it's like takes place in a video game. It looks kind of like a video game sort of setup and everything, you know. So hello, I've never seen you before. What is your name? What's your question? <laughs> Thing. It probably is, but go for it. I believe in you. So, you were just curious, since you started on GTA, your predecessor is called back in 2004, you were 15 and this was back. I was Kerber for 15. Back in the day, before a lot of modern animation programs were available. Yeah. Flash, Flash MX 2004, that's what I used. Right. Followed by Flash 8, followed by Flash CS3, currently using Flash CS6. Yeah, thank you. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> that was the easiest one yet. Hello, Stevani. What is your, what is your actual name? Yeah, oh, Christopher Ben, dude. Oh, yes. oh, I'll stop Thanks. drinking my water. Eh. Yeah. Are you The new candy. Yeah, the new Kids Next Door show. Oh. That's totally happening, right? If if that actually becomes a thing, then yes, I would totally want to do that. So yeah. You were all fooled by an early leak to April Fool's joke. I actually voice matched, matched Ben and Dave Wittenberg and Cree Summer and Jennifer Hale. It was all me. I just did really good impressions of every single one of them. Yeah. Pito. Yeah. Pito. What is your question? Uh, same thing I told, where'd she go? Uh, crap. Uh, workshops. Take as many workshops with reputable, good actors as possible. Really learn the tricks of the trade. And as you build up your ability, then opportunities may come a knocking. If you're looking specifically for anime uh, opportunities, you, first of all, you have to actually be in the places where the work is. L.A., like, Texas, New York. Yeah, yeah more or uh, less. If you, in Barely L.A., New York. I would say sign up for Tony Oliver's workshop at Bang Zoom. Yes. You're basically actually at Bang Zoom doing anime stuff, yep. and people can actually go, oh, hey, you're good, and that could lead. If you're decent, they, they actually very well might hire you. Yeah. There have been many cases where that happens. All right. You're welcome. You go. Hi, Gold again. Go Golden, you're the last question. Please Jordan. go for it. Make it a good one. No, I don't know anybody personally from Bravest Warriors. I know the people from Frederator. I've met some of the B and Puppycat stuff, I think. I met like Natasha Allegri. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. I mean, I do know a lot of different people like kind of all scattered around. The Frederator guys and the Cartoon Hangover guys are all super talented and amazing. I know Chris Fiscardi, who's one of the co-executive producers on Bravest Warriors because he did The Adventures of Pete and Pete, which my sister was on. Anybody remember Adventures of Pete and Pete? On Nickelodeon, yeah. my sister was Ellen, Pete, older Pete's girlfriend, and she voiced a character in Tome. Actually, she was one of the hackers. But uh, my family knows Chris Viscardi and Will McRobb for like years, and they're doing animation stuff now. They worked on um, on Bravest Warriors and uh, oh, uh, Sanjay and Craig on Nickelodeon, some movies and things like that. They're amazing. Uh, so I guess we're kind of done with the Q and A portion. So. Uh, we're going to end this off with, hi everybody, thanks for listening to this curb log of something that happened three days ago at Anime Kanji. Everybody cheer. Yeah! Thank you all for being here. Uh, for those of you listening, and Ben, thank you for recording and joining me. No problem. Uh, we're going to play episode zero now, which by the time this airs on YouTube, two days later, episode zero will be hitting YouTube. I'm, we're, we're time traveling right now, everybody. <laughs> um, so uh, thank you for listening. Blah, 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 like and subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time, everybody listening on YouTube. And end it. <laughs>